declare any relevant financial or other interests before and during each committee Ms. meeting. Ms. So, now you your chance if anybody has any interest they need to declare. Uh, that would include membership of any of the proposed APGs. Yeah, Chair, could I come in here just to declare an interest as the um, as being named as the proposed chair for the, the new all party group on community pharmacy? Okay, Pam, thank you. Um, okay, if there's nothing else, then we'll move on. So, agenda item three is the draft minutes of the meeting held on the fourth of November. Um, you'll find that at pages six to ten of the meeting pack. Are members content with the, the minutes as outlined? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the next item, and that is matters arising. Um, so it's proposed that standards uh, and privileges uh, that we have a, a member, a committee member development program. Um, so quotations have been sought for training for us. Um, uh, and that the specification has been revised to reduce the time commitment um, as discussed at the last meeting. Um, so other matters arising are the legal advice on the functioning of government um, miscellaneous provisions bill. Um, so legal advice has been commissioned on the implications of the bill for this committee's function and we're going to consider that at our next uh, meeting. So do any other members want to bring up anything else under matters arising? No, okay. So we'll move on then. So agenda item, item five is the all party group um, update. Uh, you'll find this at page 13 of the pack. Um, so we've received an application uh, to establish a new APG on community pharmacy. Uh, the registration form for the group can be found at pages 14 to 17 of the pack. Um, under the rules which govern APGs, the committee must consider whether to grant approval for the establishment of the new groups. Um, and the committee may grant recognition if it is content that the proposed group complies with the rules, or we may request clarification from the proposed group's chairperson about the application. As part of our considerations, the committee should be satisfied with the purpose of the proposed APG, including, for example, that it is in the public interest and that it does not, uh, and that is not being formed to further any particular commercial interest. So, can I ask the committee, are you content to approve the application for the APG on community pharmacy? Content. Thank you. Okay, members, thank you. <clears throat> so moving on. Um, so from here on in, we will be holding the rest of the meeting in closed session. So can I get agreement from members that we proceed to move to closed session? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. All right, uh, members, so we're now going to move into closed session. And can I ask that Assembly Broadcasting ensure this that is the Northern Ireland session Assembly is Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee.